my first thoughts were, oh, it's, you know, it's very good, the atmosphere is good. Um, the conditions are a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, the balls are a little bit softer, so I had some problems yesterday, especially against the uh, defence. I think everybody with this ball struggles against defenders. It's a little bit soft. It's difficult to to hit through the through the ball, and obviously it gives them an advantage. But yeah, you know, we the team won, um, so obviously I'm happy with that. And um, yeah, for me, it's just about playing more matches and. Um, Last few years, I haven't played as many matches, so it's nice to to just come here and enjoy the the matches. And yeah, and we won as well, so obviously I'm happy. I've obviously played with Tomislav for the last few years in Russia, and um, I'd signed in in Japan for the last two years also, but I couldn't get out there because of the coronavirus. Um, but now they just opened, so so I can go there again. But I spoke with him, and he's, he asked me if I if I'd be interested in coming to play in the Greek league. And you know, again, like I said, it's more matches for me, which I haven't had the last few years. So yeah, just for me to build my confidence, I, I want to just play play table tennis because I feel like I haven't done that for the last few years. Um, so it's it's nice to to come and do something different. Before COVID happened, I was playing in Japan. Uh, I was playing really well. I was out there a lot, playing matches all the time, practicing with high level players. And obviously since COVID happened, I haven't been able to do that. And I just thought, you know, once I can get back out there, maybe I can start to play well again because the last few years haven't been been as good as I would like for me. Um, it's been not my best table tennis, so I want to try and find do something to find my my best form again. I remember um, not our best match, of course, but again, like I said, with the different conditions, different balls, different table, everything can happen in table tennis. So um, yeah, I'm sure we'll have more battles in the future uh, again with Greece. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully in England, so then we can win. <laughs> I mean, it's difficult to say. Obviously, anything can happen in table tennis. You never know what's, you know, one week somebody can win, the next week somebody else can win. Uh, it's like this up and down, up and down. But from what I've seen of him, he's he's very talented. He's a, he's a talented player. I think, you know, if if he works hard, then you know he can he can go far for sure. You know, it's not easy to win for. Uh, for under-21 European titles, so it's, uh, I mean, he's already down in the record books for that, so, you know, maybe one day he can go into the seniors, I don't know, you know, he's, I've played him, he's a good player, um, but again, like I said, to take the next step is, is difficult and everybody's trying to do it, so um, we'll see, you know, he has the talent, but... It's difficult for me to say. I think, obviously, having pl former players inside the, the management, I think, can be a good thing. I mean, you know, they understand table tennis better. They understand the players, how they think. And, you know, if the, if the goal is to help the players perform and, and win medals and, and this, then I think it's a good thing, for sure. Yeah, I think it's possible. Like, we've seen recently, you know, they're beatable. I think... Obviously, for them, it's easier to prepare for the bigger tournaments. Like they don't have league and stuff like this, where Europe, we're playing match, league matches and traveling, and then we're not preparing as they, they have like three months at least to prepare just for this one tournament. And but like we've seen recently, I think they they're getting more and more beatable, um, and I think they're they're more nervous about this and more nervous about the European players and other players in the world. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it can happen more often. It's difficult to answer that one, I think. Um, I mean, some players will, will think it's positive or it's something, some players will think it's negative. I think for, for the top level players, it's, it's, it doesn't change much. I think for the lower level players, it's, or like the players, you know, top pushing 100 around this level 50. It's, it's not easy, I think, obviously, with... Yeah, I don't want to say too much. Um, I think, it, give it a few years, maybe it can be positive. But for now, 
it's for me personally obviously there have been restrictions where I couldn't play tournaments and because of my ranking and, and stuff like this and some things are not fair um, but that's life and hopefully in the next I mean give it five ten years maybe it can be positive and the prize money can be there and everybody's happy but right now I don't think it's easy to make everybody happy my back end um, I think it's difficult for, for people to, to see where it's going. That's the main thing I can change at the last minute where I go cross or down the line. And, but yeah, it's, um, it's something I need to keep working on because recently I've not really felt that confident in it and um, I'm just trying to find something new in my game um, because I'm not as confident. But I think the next goal is just to, like I said, just to play more matches and, and try and find the confidence and try and find my form how it was yeah, a couple of years ago because recently it's, it's not been good. I know that and, you know, I'm, I'm training every day just to try and find something again that I can do because it's not fun to, you know, go from this level to, to drop even a little bit lower so it's not... It's not fun for me, so I'm, you know, I'm working hard to try and find something again. And like I said, with table tennis, is you never know what's going to happen every day. So it's just to try and take the losses and learn from them and go again to try and find that higher level.